have a look at how to set up the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller board in Tony IDE. So here we are going to interface an RGB LED module with the Pico board. Unlike other Raspberry Pis, this Pico board have analog and digital pins where we can interface other hardware components. So we have interfaced the RGB LED with the Pico board. We have connected the RGB to the GPIO pins of the Pico board and ground to the ground of board. So we are going to program the board by connecting a USB micro cable with the system. So before connecting you have to push the boot still button. Then only you have to connect. So next looking forward to Tony IDE. First of all click tools, click options and select the interpreter. So here we have to choose the MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Then the port. So either you can directly select the port or you can go to the option to detect automatically. Click run. So now the program is running. Here we have already saved the code. Therefore the dialog box didn't appear to save the code. So we will just show you and when you save the code you can see a dialog box appears where to save the code. So two options are there the computer and the MicroPython device. You can either choose any one of them and when you save the code try to save the code as main.py. So if you disconnect the board from the system and if you try to connect using a 5 volt 2 amps adapter then the program will automatically run even if you are not connected to the system so now the program is running so we are going to show you without running the program by simply connecting a 5 volt 2 amps adapter with the board the program automatically runs thank you for watching